The Indian Army has developed an AI-based track and shoot weapon system known as the 10 AI weapon system, that features a medium machine gun with a range of 1.8 km, equipped with a day camera with 40x optical zoom, and a thermal image camera for nighttime surveillance up to 2 km that is specifically designed for deployment at the line of control to counter terrorist infiltration. The Indian Navy crew that will operate INS Tarmal Stealth Frigate has reached Russia last week, in preparation for its commissioning in early June. Russia's TASS new media has reported, that the Russian president has invited Prime Minister Modi for Victory Day Parade on 9 May, and the participation of Indian troops is being discussed. The Indian Army chief visited French Army's Future Combat Command, where he was briefed on various modernization projects of French Army including the Scorpion Project. The DRDO held discussions with the Indian Army, for development of a humanoid robot army, that is designed to carry firearms and operate under human command, and will participate in high-risk combat scenarios. The Indian Army has awarded a contract to Larsen and Tubro for the procurement of 223 automatic chemical agent detection and alarm systems. Bangalore-based New Space Research and Technologies has unveiled its Sea Shook miniaturized glide device kit, that transforms a basic aerial bomb into a precision-guided munition. Chinese Air Force has ramped up the testing phase of its new J-35A stealth fighter, as Pakistan plans to induct 36 units in the next two to three years. The former commander-in-chief of the Southern Naval Command, has publicly challenged the DRDO lead in designing submarines under Project 76, when the Navy's own submarine design group is fully equipped to do the job in-house. Amid reports that Rolls-Royce has emerged as the preferred partner for the development of 110 kN engine for the AMCA program, the US firm General Electric has offered to co-develop a 130 kN engine leveraging its F414 base, but its proposal withholds full technology transfer, and this reluctance is tied to US export controls, and India's close ties with Russia. Francis Safran has offered only partial intellectual property rights, that could limit the level of technological control available to India. Rolls-Royce has offered a co-development model with full technology transfer and full intellectual property rights transfer to GTRE, as well as customization for AMCA, and interestingly, the Rolls-Royce offer includes hybrid propulsion and thermal management, that aligns with future-proofing India's next-generation fighter jet program. Amid the American push to sell its striker armored vehicles to Indian Army, the Indian Army chief visited French Army's Future Combat Command, and he was briefed on the French Army's Scorpion project, followed by a live demonstration. The Scorpion program introduces three main wheeled armored vehicles, that includes Griffin 6x6 wheeled multi-role armored vehicle, Jaguar 6x6 reconnaissance and combat vehicle. Serval 4x4 12-ton light armored vehicle for rapid response, and Nerva and Chameleon unmanned ground vehicles. The DRDO is embarking on an ambitious project to develop a specialized directed energy weapons pod for the Rudra and Prachan light combat helicopter, offering a new dimension to helicopter combat capabilities. A high-power laser source will serve as the core of the DEW system, capable of delivering 5 kW of optical power, that can disable or neutralize small unmanned aerial systems communication links and other airborne threats. Today's top 3 comments 